Hi everyone, welcome back to the 100 days of the 2023 National Electrical Code. We're in Article 502, which talks about Class 2 locations. A couple of small changes here. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what they say. 502.10, wiring methods. Coded rigid metal conduit and coded IMC, intermediate metal conduit, are now specifically addressed. And EMT fittings must now be of the compression type in Class 2 Division 2 locations. Uh, by the way, the issue of coded raceways was also uh, addressed in Article 501 for Class 1 locations. I didn't want to cover the same topic twice, so 501.10 talks about coded rigid and coded IMC. So does 502.10, and then 502.10 also talks about uh, EMT fittings in Class 2, so I figured I could kill both birds with one stone by just talking about Class 2 locations. So 502.10 tells us about the different types of wiring methods that we can use in a Class 2 location. It says wiring methods must comply with 502.10A for Class 2 Division 1 locations, 502.10b for class 2 division 2 locations. All right, so what can I use in a class 2 division 1 location? Well, class 2 division 1, we've got to remember we we treat that with the utmost respect in the National Electrical Code. Uh, I know when I was when I was wiring buildings, I I did a few class 1 locations. I didn't really do any combustible dust class 2 locations. But I always figured that nothing could possibly be as dangerous as a Class 1 location. And that's simply not true. If we want to knock a building down, we usually don't use flammable gases and vapors. We use combustible dust. And that's covered in Article 502, not Article 501. So a lot of people kind of think that Class 2 is a lesser hazard than Class 1. It's definitely not a lesser hazard. Hazard. It's just a different hazard. So 502. 10A1 says in a class 2 division 1 location I can use threaded rigid metal conduit or I can use threaded intermediate metal conduit and now it clarifies that that can be with or without supplemental coverings like we're showing here so this is PVC coated rigid metal conduit there were some questions about whether or not that could be used well of course it can be used we, we just said you can use threaded rigid metal conduit what is coated threaded rigid metal conduit well, it's coated rigid metal conduit. We just said you could use rigid metal conduit, so do we really have to specify that it can be coated? Uh, probably not, but if that's going to stop an argument, well then let's go ahead and stop the argument before it starts. So you can use rigid, you can use IMC, with or without supplemental coverings. 502.10B1, which is Class 2 Division 2 locations. A lot more wiring methods I can use in a Class 2 Division 2 than I can in a Class 2 Division 1. I can't use EMT in Class 2 Division 1, but I can use EMT in Class 2 Division 2, and now, new to this version of the code, EMT in a Class 2 Division 2 has to have listed compression type fittings. Now, all conduit fittings have to be listed. That's never an option. You, you go to 352.6 or 358.6 and 342.6, conduit fittings always have to be listed. So the fact that it says listed, that, that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, the change here is we cannot use set screw type fittings. We have to use compression type fittings. So the issue here is, is the entrance of combustible dust. And dust is 500 micrometers or smaller. So I think it's probably safe to say that the intrusion of dust is much less likely to happen if the, if the, uh, the couplings and connectors are compression type as opposed to a set screw type. So there you go. New to this version of the code, if you want to use EMT in a class 2 division 2 location, perfectly fine. But you do have to use compression type fittings, not set screw type fittings. See you on the next video.